Hello everybody, Neil here. I am going to do a detailed video of setting up Bubble IO with Mellersend transactional emails. Um, I may add on to this in the future as well and go into more detailed features that Mellersend offers. Um, this new SMS thing that you see on the screen, how to also send SMS messages uh, with your own phone number through your application through Mellersend. So I haven't yet done that, but I, I'm going to be doing that soon. So I think this is a really good platform. Mellersend is very user friendly. Just like anything else, it has its own little quirks that you got to figure out. Um, but it's an API first based um, <clears throat> transactional email system. They're the, Mel they're the Meller Lite sister company, I believe. Um, so I use Meller Lite for my email campaigns and things like that. And then I use Meller Send for transactional emails. If you don't know what transactional emails are, they're basically uh, emails that get triggered when your users are interacting with your app. Um, say when somebody signs up, it triggers off a one-time email that sends a welcome email to that, that user that signed up. And that's kind of what I'm going to show you today. Um, you, can, you can use it for notification emails. Uh, anything that uh, happens in your app, you can trigger an email to go to that user or a group of users or or things like that. So <clears throat> that's kind of what transactional emails are. Meller Lite is more for like mail campaigns and like, um, you know, signing up for early access to your website, to an email list, um, things of that nature. So um, I may do a video, detailed video on that in the future as well. I just think it's very important because um, transactional emails and email lists are very important to your to your product, to your project that you're working on, and it gives you a good way to interact with your users and keep them um, engaged with your platform. Um, email is old school, but I don't. I'm one that don't doesn't feel like email is ever going to die, and being able to get right into individuals' uh, inboxes is a really good thing. Most people still check emails um, uh, either on their desktop and their mobile phones. So it's it's a really good and cost-effective way to notify your users of things and, and things that are going on with you and your platform uh, that they've signed up for. So with that being said, let's get started. This is going to be kind of a little bit of a lengthy video because I'm going to go through um, how to set up your, your the Mellersend account from scratch how to set up the bubble API connector and the workflows. Um, it can be a little bit lengthy with Mellerson setting up that side because there's some verification process and some domain stuff that we need to do as far as DNS entries and validations and verifications. Um, so with that being said, let's, um, let's get started. So um, I have a partner that I'm working with that we're about to release a product uh, out to the wild uh, called Interfaces. Um, so I'm, we have not yet set up any transactional emails for interfaces yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that as, as my um, use case here. It is a real world use case because we will be using this. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So let's, let's go ahead and sign up. Um, so this is where, is where you're gonna create your account. So this account is gonna be under interfaces-ui.com and I'm just gonna call this uh, admin um let's say inter interfaces admin i like to keep things generic well what happened there with some of this stuff and then once i get the account set up i, I kind of tweak things to how i want how i want it so um, this is actually going to go down here and this is going to be interfaces and then there we go uh, interfaces.com email must be valid email address. That is a valid email address. Oops, hold on. Interfaces. They're doing some validation on that, so that's pretty cool. That's another uh, another test that, or another uh, use case that I'll do probably on a um, another video is the email va validation that they offer as well. Um, so welcome to Miller Sim. Thank you for signing up. Miller Sim, I just sent transactional emails from your app. 
let's just skip this introduction. So the first screen they're gonna bring you to is this next step. So we're gonna go through and we're gonna just step through. This is a really nice onboarding that they do for you to walk you through everything. So first we gotta verify that the email address we sent up, uh, signed up for is valid. So it sent me an email already. So we can just do verify the email address and voila, that's done. So let's go to step two, please review and accept our policy. So yeah, 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 it's usually general stuff. You might wanna read through this, just understand how to use our system uh, and be in compliance with them. Okay, this is where we're gonna add our custom domain for sending. So sending from our domain, which will be interfaces-ui.com for this particular product. They actually step you through this. So let's go ahead and enter that, interfaces-ui.com add domain and then we'll have to do some some stuff in our dns for our domain registrar as well um, so verify so we added it check verify your sending domain so we've got to go do this to protect our do domain name from unauthorized use so we'll do the start process i use um, namecheap so they give you kind of what you need to do here at your registrar so let me go to let me go to namecheap and log in and do the setup there. Let me get that email real quick. More validation. Uh, there it is. Okay, so now we're logged in. So let me let me find that domain name that I've got. Uh, where is it? Let's just do interfaces. Okay, interfaces. So let's do a manage on interfaces-.com. We'll go to the advanced DNS. So this may be different for you if you use something like Google domains or if you use GoDaddy domains or something like that. Um, so let's go see what, what we need to do. So we need to create a text record for interfaces uh, ui-ui.com. So let's go ahead and copy this. Go do a text record. Let's see here, txt record. Let's paste that in here and I believe it says do it for, I think this is just gonna be an at. They walk you through this over here if you get a little uh, so yeah, in, in the host box, enter app, at. So we just want to do an at, which is the same as the root domain. I'm going to change this to one minute so it populates very quickly. And then we'll go to the next step here. We're going to create a, a DKIM uh, record as well. So let's do um, copy this to clipboard, create a text record. Create another text record here. And this will be our value. So I think that actually says without your domain name. So you have to kind of follow that a little bit so you can, um, so we need to take that out. Does it want us to leave the dot? No, it doesn't want to leave the dot at the end. So let's, um, let's take out our domain name on this. All the way back. And then let's copy this to clipboard and then paste in that value, change to one minute. Again, maybe different on your registrar, depending on who you have. Now we've done that. We've done the SPF, the DKIM. Um, let's do the return path CNAME record here. Um, create a CNAME record. Again, you can come over here and see what they say here. So we're gonna add a CNAME record. Um, record value, copy to clipboard. The clipboard, and let's do what does it say here? Let's be sure to in the host field, paste the name value provided for your mail center account, which defaults to MTA. So let's add a C name record, and then this is going to be the value. And then I believe, let's see, MTA. See what they say here. So yeah, we want that full 
full bill there. So we need to copy that as a host name, set this to one minutes. <clears throat> and then custom DNS, we don't need that for tracking right now. Inbound D domain name forwarding, we do not need that. No share records. I have added DNS records, check that, do verify domain. And there you go, it successfully worked. I mean, I put in those records correctly. So the next step is you've got to get an approval from Mellerson to be able to send from them. They do a manual, I believe it's a manual check over there to make sure you're legit. So it helps mitigate or minimize probably spam and things like that. So typically they're pretty fast. They may know me over there because I've done a, quite a few accounts with them. Um, but until they approve you, um, you'll only be able to send emails to address or domains you've previously verified. So we would only be able to right now until they approve us, send emails to somebody with the same domain name as interfaces-ui.com, the same domain name we just uh, validated. So let's just do get approved, and this is going to ask us some questions. Um, so we'll do interfaces-ui.com. I'm not gonna worry about that. I'm gonna put in my home address here, United States. Um, I'm in Texas. Uh, my company role, I'll just say other um, partner and bubble developer. How many employees? I'll just say one to four. What industry are you in? I'm just going to say um, other. I'll say software. And then tell us about your business model and how, they're, how you use email. So this, you just put a little blurb in that says, I'm going to use this to notify users of my product. Uh, notify users of um, things happening in my product, such as notifications and signups. Something like that, you can just put something basic in there, I think. Which service have you used before? Um, I've used Miller Lite. Don't need to upload anything here. How many emails do you plan to send a month? I usually say for right, right out the gate, one to 10,000. What types of messages do you plan on sending with Miller Send? Transactional, maybe marketing. I'll probably use Miller Lite for the marketing. Um, and then save that. And then that goes off for approval. This will stay orange until they approve it. They try to do it within 24 hours. Typically, they get me get me approved a little bit quicker than that. Um, but we'll kind of we'll kind of wait for them to do that. Um, but while you're waiting, you can start setting up stuff in here. Um, I'm going to go to my settings. I'm gonna, I like to I like to set up. Um, Maybe it's on a profile here. I like to set up dark mode. Um, it's just easier for me to see. A lot of people don't like dark mode, but I like it. I think it's easier on the eyes. Some people disagree. We all have our preferences, right? Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we need to set up a template to... Um, to work with the bubble API connector. So we can um, we can actually start setting. Let's actually start setting up the. Let's start setting up the API connector first. So to get the API docs, go into I believe it's settings. Let's see here. Uh, doo -doo -doo, where is it? Email. Dashboard, where's the documentation? I forget. Um, oh man. Oh, there it is. My my little guy was covering. So down here in the left hand corner, you have the uh, API documentation. So we can go to that. So here's your base URL. Um, here's your calls. 
um, for doing different things. Particularly, we'll stay in the sending, sending an email um, uh, area for for this uh, tutorial. Um, let's look up. Um, let's look up authentication real quick. Um, where's the uh, general API resources authentication? Here we go. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna set up the authentication first. So let's go back to our API connector and let's do a. Um, let's see, we don't, don't we don't have the API connector set up. API connector. Let's install the API connector. If you don't have it installed, add an API. Let's call this Mailer Send. We're going to leave this to non or self handled. Then we're going to add some shared headers here. So we need authorization. And then it needs to be bearer with your bearer token. So we'll need to go get our bearer token. So let's see, where do we get our token at? API token. So under settings, API tokens tab, we have to generate that token. So let's just generate it and we'll just do a uh, full access for now. Um, let's just call this enter faces token, API token. Generate, create that token. There's your token. Let's copy that. Let's go back to the API connector. Let's paste that token in there. And there we go, we have that. The next shared header we need is, I believe, content, content. Uh, type which is going to be application forward slash JSON and then the other one I believe is an as a HTML request header that they need or XML request header so where is that uh, There's someone there that I thought it required that. Uh, maybe they're not requiring that anymore. Let's don't add that for now. Uh, usually I add in an XML request thing in the header there. So on the API calls, let's just call this, it's gonna be for our welcome email. So um, send welcome email. And then this is uh, going to be a post request because we're sending it to to the uh, Meller sense. So we're doing it as a post request. So let's look at um, the email, email, sending an email. So here is the base URL for that to send an email. So it's uh, we're going to copy this URL here. So I went over to the sending e an email uh, calls. And then going to go back here and going to post, paste that in uh, for the URL. Um, we don't need to send any parameters here. We're going to change this to an action because we're going to use it as an action. And then um, Mellersend does not like to, for some reason, receive as JSON. So we're going to change this actually to empty. We're going to set this to empty. And then what we're going to do is we are going to construct our JSON body. We're going to leave the body type as JSON. Uh, we're going to construct a uh, body here that, that uh, where we can pass some dynamic values into and then um, send those on to a template over in uh, Meller Send. So uh, here's the basic structure of what they're looking for in um, the the request body. Uh, we're not gonna use this particular one because we're gonna create a template and we're gonna use that template. They provide you the payload that you use in that template. So um, I'm gonna carve this video up. I'm gonna stop there on this. I'm gonna call this part one of, of this tutorial. Um, I'll, uh, I'm gonna fire up a new video and make it part two where we start constructing that body. And then uh, we set up the template in um, MellerSend to receive that, that payload and, and, and ultimately send that email out to your users. So I'll see you in the next video.